The seventh question is, how has language been weaponized? And has it always been this way? My answer, language, verbal and written communication, is a tool and, like all other tools, will eventually be weaponized by human beings because human beings are innately evil. Let me explain that this way. Everyone is evil to some extent, and some people are more evil than good. Likewise, of the entire population of people alive today, a small but definite percentage of us are totally evil. This is essentially the same as with the so-called Neanderthal genome. All people have about 2% DNA from Neanderthals, but about 2% of all people have a higher ratio of genetics in common with now otherwise extinct Neanderthals. So what is evil? If language is a tool and can be used for good, how can its becoming weaponized for evil ends be avoided? Brian Geisen and William Burroughs first called language a virus, and it is true mimetic propagation spreads like a psychic contagion, passed along from one person to another until everyone is infected by whatever the information is. This, in fact, is the explanation for the popularity of the false idea called God. However, communication is a far more effective tool for distributing intelligence than even an epidemic disease is at its similar task, distributing biological plague. If depopulation by dispersion of disease were any more effective than word of mouth is at dispensing remedies, there'd be none of us here.